go ahead. Hi, I'm Dan, musicyoda.com, M-U-S-I-C-Y-O-D-A.com. That's uh, my website. Also, um, and it's all mostly music, of course. And um, then uh, Dancing124, D-A-N-S-I-N-G, 124. Uh, that is my YouTube channel name. Uh, today, I wanted to talk to you about some very interesting videos I've been seeing on the um, on YouTube um, about uh, this planet, uh, Nurubu. And uh, the funny thing is, I can't find it. You know, usually you can find a map with an arrow, you know, where it's at, with an arrow pointed on, given its, its, its velocity. And then from that, you can determine the velocity and, and so forth. Now, some think it's just going to stay out of the solar system and, and somehow grab the Earth and do something to it. And I don't know. Are they right or are they wrong? I, I have no idea. But um, um, I'm having a lot of trouble with that Nerubu thing. I, I don't know why. I, I just don't. And one thing I don't understand is what's going on. People are say, saying something about September 13th of this year, 2015. Uh, September 23rd. September 24th, um, you see, I used to do everything pencil, calculator, and paper. And uh, this time around, I said, ah, let me just go check and see, you know, what's upcoming. There's nothing on the 13th. There's nothing on the 23rd. There's nothing on the 24th of September. Um, you know, uh, the idea is, is that I check with NASA, I check with ESA, I check with JPL, I check with the uh, Johnson Space Center. I, I check with the Kennedy Space Center. Now they don't know who does. Who does? I, I don't know. There's nothing on those days. Now there is something of interest. Um, remember this date, October 26th. That's a Thursday, 2028. There is something that's going to come by here. It's a mile across, so it's it's an ME type thing. Um, ME meaning uh, mass extinction event. Um, but that. Uh, will be, uh, according to their calculations, 500 to 500,000 miles away. That's, uh, that's 2 um, <clears throat> MD. Well, 500,000 is 2 MD. MD is moon distances. So that thing's going to miss us. Um, the close estimates are 500 miles away. That's still going to miss us. It's, it's pretty close, but it's still going to miss us. Uh, but that's, uh, so get your telescopes ready for that one. That's, um, again, I'll give you the date. October 26th, Thursday, 12.30 uh, p.m. That's Houston time. That's Central Standard Time, my time, here in the States. Um, over there in England, I don't know what time it'll be, but uh, it'll make its closest approach right there around England. It'll be nighttime there, so that might be a good place to hang out to get a nice view of this thing come by. Um, it, it may go behind the moon. It may come in front of the moon. Either way. Now, I wanted to also tell you about uh, all the mistakes that, that, that we can make, too. Um, in 2013, I predicted that the February um, event, uh, in middle of February, was going to take place um, um, just all by my own calculations, uh, February 13th or 14th of um, 2014. Now, what happened uh, that time around is I said, okay, this thing is going to be 50,000 miles away. Later on, I checked with NASA. NASA said it's going to be 30,000 miles away. Um, that, that wouldn't have been a, a ME, wouldn't have been a mass extinction, but it would cause some very serious problems for all of us. Um, now, I said 50,000, NASA said 30,000. Three days before, NASA said this thing is going to be 17,200 miles away. I said, well, well wait a minute, we're, we're, all over the, we're all over the map on this thing. Um, I hope they're right. So they were. It came 17,200 miles away, um, and a lot of people got pictures of that thing from back. So um, what I want to do here, uh, can, okay, well, anyway, take the phone away. Uh, uh, anyway, shut up, phone. Anyway, so um, uh, the, the um, calculations I come up with were wrong, NASA's were wrong, then that was all corrected. Meanwhile, the smaller object came into Russia. Now, they don't examine any objects, neither do I. There's stuff floating around the world all the time that could hit us any time. And usually those events happen about once every 100 years. Mass extinctions actually happen once every, um, well, we're about 35 million years to go. By averages, there's been five mass extinctions since the beginning of time. Uh, so, since the beginning of the, um, you know, the, the planet, I guess, uh, four, four and a half billion years ago. All right, so that's about it. I just wanted to let you know that. 
And as I said, there's junk floating around the earth all the time. You can't keep track of absolutely everything. The thing that um, hit Russia was 70 feet across. And you can see the kind of damage that's in there. Okay, so thank you for watching me. Thank you for enjoying my videos. And um, as I said, uh, nothing to worry about until 2028. So take care, folks. Peace and love. Williams. See you later. Keep watching my videos. So hope you enjoyed this one. I hope it's a little bit educational. Thank you. All right, thank you for watching me.